ஸ்ரீ குருபியோ நமஹா ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் செவன் இங்கிலீஷ் ப்ரோஸ் த செல்ஃப் இஸ் ஜாயிண்ட் பை ஆஸ்க வைல் பார்ட் டூ இந்த ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோ வி லேர்ன்ட் அபவுட் த செல்ஃப் இஸ் ஜாயிண்ட் பார்ட் ஒன் டுடே வி கோயிங் டு லேர்ன் த ரெஸ்ட் ஆஃப் த லெசன் இன் பார்ட் டூ அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் த பிக்சர் ஆஃப் த போயட் ஆஸ்க வைல் பிஃபோர் வி மூவ் ஆன் வில் ஹாவ் அ ரீகேப் ஆஃப் பார்ட் ஒன் இன் பார்ட் ஒன் வி சா அண்ட் இன்ட்ரடக்ஷன் அபவுட் தி ஆத்தர் அண்ட் த பிளாட் இன்ட்ரடக்ஷன் We learnt about the giant's large and lovely garden with a lot of greenery, flowers, tall peach trees all around where the birds love to sing for the children. The children enjoy the large space of the giant's garden and spend most of the afternoon there. Their happiness was spoiled for the giant. He returned to his castle after 7 years of staying with his friend. On his return, he was shocked to find the children playing in his garden and shoot them away. for he prefer to be alone and consider children to be noisy so to stop the children's entrance at once he raised high uh, the wall around his garden and put up a notice board the children that were then left without any play space soon the spring and the summer showed up all around the city except the giant's garden where it remained all snow and frost so the only people were allowed to stay were uh, are the the snow the frost the north winds and the hail the giant was too confused and couldn't understand what was going on and uh, he hoped for the spring and summer to visit his garden soon so that's the end of the recap now we'll move on to part 2 kindly follow one morning the giant was lying awake in bed when he heard some lovely music it sounded so sweet to his ears that he thought it might it must be the king's musicians passing by it was really only a little linnet singing outside his window but it was so long it since he had heard a bird sing in his garden that it seemed to him to be the most beautiful music in the world so one fine morning as the giant was lying awake in his bed he heard pleasant music so sweet to his ears and he thought that must be king's musicians passing by but it wasn't instead it was a little linnet bird so that's a type of song bird brown and gray in color with a red reddish breast and forehead The giant was surprised to hear the sweet sound because he hadn't heard a bird sing in his garden for quite a long time and it sounded the most beautiful music in the world. And this is the picture of the uh, linnet bird as I said in the description. Then the hail stopped dancing over his head and the north wind ceased roaring and a delicious perfume came to him through the open casement. I believe the spring has come at last said the giant. and he jumped out of bed and looked out so what did he see he saw a most wonderful sight S- through a little hole in the wall the children had crept in and they were sitting in the branches of the trees so s- the so the hail stopped so as the north wind he smelled a delicious perfume that came through the window and the giant was waiting for the spring to come to his garden for so long and he thought the spring has come to his garden finally so he quickly jumped out of his bed and he looked out but to his astonishment he saw the children had crept inside the garden through a little hole in the wall in every tree that he could see there was a little child and the trees were so glad to have the children back again that they have covered themselves with blossoms and were waving their arms gently above the children's heads the birds were flying about and twittering with delight and the and the flowers were looking up through the green grass and laughing so it was a lovely scene now the giant could see the children sitting on the branches of the trees even the trees were so happy to see the children and they covered themselves with blossoms again they waved their arms here the arms refers to the branches gently above the children's heads even the birds got so pleased on seeing the children they flew around delightfully the flowers bloomed through the green grass happily so it was such a nice pleasant sight to adore only in one corner it was still winter it was the farthest corner of the garden and in it was standing a little boy he was so small that he could not reach up to the branches of the tree and he was wandering all around it cl- crying bitterly the poor tree was still quite covered with frost and snow and the north wind was blowing and roaring above it climb up little boy said the tree and it bent its branches down as low as, as he could but the boy was too tiny 
but in the farthest corner of the garden it was still winter and uh, could see a little boy standing he looked so sad because he was so small he couldn't reach up to the branches of the tree and thus he wandered around the tree crying very bitterly the poor tree was still covered up with frost and snow and the north wind was still blowing uh, and roaring above it though the tree tried its best to help the boy by bending down his branches yet failed because the boy was too tiny to reach out and the giant's heart melted as he looked out how selfish i have been he said now i know why the spring would not come here i will put that poor little boy on top of the tree and then i will knock down the wall and the garden shall be the children's play- playground forever and ever he was really sorry for very very sorry for what he had done so he crept down the stairs and opened the front door very quite softly and went out into the garden so now as the giant was watching all this tree through the casement that is through the window his heart melted when he realized its mistakes and felt very sorry for his actions he also understood how selfish he was and the actual reason that stopped the spring he then decided that he would put the little boy on the top of the tree and knock down the wall and will return the and will turn the garden into the children's playground forever but when the children saw him they were so frightened that they all ran away and the garden became winter again only the little boy did not run for his eyes were full of tears and he did not see the giant coming and the giant stole up behind him and took him gently in his hand and put him up into the tree and the tree broke at once into blossom and the birds came and sang on it and the little boy stretched out his arms two arms and flung them around the giant's neck and so this is the picture and kissed him so after this the giant he crept downstairs noiselessly and went out into the garden and as soon as the children saw the giant they were so frightened and they ran away the garden turned winter again but the little boy couldn't run because his eyes were full of tears and he didn't see the giant coming the giant lifted the boy and put him up into the tree and the tree broke into blossoms again and the birds started their sweet songs the little boy was so happy so he reached out the giant and hugged and kissed him and the other children when they saw that the giant was not wicked any longer came running back and with them the spring it's your garden children now it's your ch- uh, garden now little children said the giant and he took a great axe and do- knocked down the wall and when the people were going to market at 12 o'clock they found the giant playing with the children in the most beautiful garden that they had ever seen so on uh, seeing the ch- other children so this all these things watched by the other children so on the seeing this the other children they realized that the giant was harmless and kind hearted they came back running so the giant declared that it is the children's garden then and he took a giant axe and he knocked down the wall the people also noticed the giant playing with the children and that's the most beautiful garden the people have ever seen so you could see uh, the children they are climbing on the giant and how they, happy they are again and even you can also see how happy the giant is playing with the children so you could see the giant and the children playing happily in the beautiful garden and that's a happy ending so and the moral of the story is one can find happiness only through true love and selflessness also the best feeling of happiness is when you are happy because you have made somebody else happy and that's the end of the lesson hope you like it thank you